the Fresh Foam BB was a, a pretty good shoe. But these, I like these better. What is going on? Welcome back to the official Wear Testers YouTube channel. My name is Jackson, and today we have a performance review on these bad boys, and I hope they're focusing. It's the New Balance Fresh Foam BB V2. New Balance finally brought Fresh Foam into the basketball line last year with the Fresh Foam BB, and it was a pretty solid shoe. It had some things that I did not like that much, like the caging of the midsole along with the materials on the upper. I thought it was just way too much plastic up there, and they fit like super long but also narrow, so the fit was pretty hard to get right. They did fix the whole material thing on that one canvas-based colorway that they made, and I loved, loved playing in that pair. And it's like New Balance was listening or something, because the Fresh Foam BB V2 materials on these freaking awesome they pretty much just improved everything across the board from the v1 to the v2 so let's get right into it so let's start off with the traction it is one of the best aspects of the shoe uh look at that pattern man it's great it's multi-directional and it's awesome indoors it squeaks it screeches <laughs> and it stops even on dusty grimy courts so you do kind of have a little rounded edge here on the medial side on the forefoot, but what I don't like is that they didn't extend that traction pattern up onto the medial side of the midsole. That's just foam. So that is one complaint that I have. If you're Kyrie Irving, if you're Kemba Walker, if you play like that, you know, that might be something that impacts you. Most of the time you do want a traction pattern that will wrap up the medial side in that forefoot area. But anyways, outside of that, man, the traction was great. And if you take them outside, you're gonna get good traction and decent durability. By this point, I feel like everybody knows that the Chinese brands, Leaning, Anta, 361, you name it, those guys are gonna give you the best durability. All of their outsole rubber is extra durable, extra tough. But when it comes to other brands, this is going to be a pretty good option. They didn't use crazy soft rubber and that pattern is relatively thick. Moving on to the cushion and you know, this is kind of the star of the show. It's what the whole shoe is named after, Fresh Foam. And so like the name of the shoe suggests, it is full length Fresh Foam. It is a dual density Fresh Foam setup with no caging at all anywhere on that midsole. So this foam around here that you see is a denser, firmer foam, and honestly, it's not that dense at all. And then the foam on the inside of that is gonna be nice and plush and soft. The firmer foam around here just kinda keeps it from compressing too much and being unstable. And if you're looking for a foam that's plush that you can really feel underneath your foot, this is it. You've got a really thick slab of foam here, and you can feel it way more than you did in last year's model. The big drawback, because it is such a thick slab of foam, is that there's not a lot of court feel. You are sitting pretty high off the ground in these. But like, look at this, like in that forefoot, you're really not sitting down in that midsole at all. You are back here. This comes up and helps with heel containment. We'll get to that in a minute. And yeah, it feels good, but it's just stable enough that I didn't really notice like the stack height. There's still a relative stability underneath your foot that you absolutely need when you're using a foam that feels as good as this one. The insole in here is the typical dark blue ortholite insole that comes in pretty much every New Balance basketball shoe. So you may be asking, uh, what's the difference between the cushion on the Fresh Foam BB V2 and the two-way V4? So the similarities are that they both contain Fresh Foam and they both sit pretty high off the floor. And so the difference is in the two-way V4, you only have half Fresh Foam, which is this little white section. And then this black section is actually fuel cell, which is more dense. So you're still getting a dual density setup in both of these shoes. Capital B, capital O, capital A, capital F, both. But this one is the more non-traditional setup of literally just splitting it down the middle. But yeah, so the Fresh Foam BB V2 just feels more smooth and more natural underfoot. So let's move on to materials. And this is a big departure from last year's model to this year's model. These had a fit weave upper and fit weave it was mostly plastic is what it was. And this doesn't have any of that. So this is mostly like a really tight mesh with some suede overlays. You've got some other materials mixed in there. It's such a huge improvement in my opinion. If you're somebody that prefers those really crispy plasticky based uppers, then maybe you're not gonna enjoy that switch to something that's a little more soft and has you know raw materials mixed in there. The one kind of downside to that is that those materials will loosen up while you play. So normally I would go to the gym put these on, lace them up. Five to 10 minutes later, I'd have to take a little break to relace them and really cinch those things up so that, you know, cause those materials would heat up and loosen up and I, you know, my feet would be sweating and all that. And so I would need to adjust my laces. You don't get that with plastic. You do get that here. 
but I'm still taking this every single time. Now you might hear that they're using mesh and think, yeah, that's gonna be breathable. That's not the case. However, on the tongue, you do have some perforations. That's where a lot of your breathability is coming from. You're kind of hot boxing the shoe, if we're gonna be honest. It's not the worst breathability you're ever gonna get. This is the worst breathability you're ever gonna get. But anyways, yeah, if you're after like a lot of airflow, then this isn't gonna give it to you. But yeah, overall materials, they work, they do the job, they're soft, they're flexible, but they still work enough to support your foot and keep your foot you know, on the footbed where it needs to be. All right, so let's talk fit now. I went with my true size in these and that's what I would recommend for pretty much everyone, even if you have wide feet, you know, or at least wider than average feet. If you have like Sasquatch feet, then you might need to find a shoe that has, you know, wide sizing available. The fit on the original Fresh Foam BB was extremely narrow and also long. That's not a good combination unless you've got like Kevin Durant feet. You know who I am. New Balance, again, corrected that, and this fits true to size. If you're a fan of that like Kobe 5, Kobe 6, Sabrina 1, et cetera, et cetera, like suffocating fit, these aren't gonna provide that for you. But with that being said, I didn't have any issues with lockdown. So back here in the heel, you have a lot of collar padding. The heel counter is relatively shrimpy, honestly, but you're sitting within this midsole on both sides back here. So that's gonna help your heel stay locked in side to side and also up and down. My heel wasn't slipping coming out of the shoe at all. You have a speed lacing setup, which I really like. So it helped me really cinch up the laces really quickly. But in the forefoot, you have some like fly wire looking cables on those last two eyelets. Those cables do cinch up a little bit when you really pull on those laces. That's gonna help a little bit with that lateral containment. The forefoot area was the only area where you might have a little bit of issues again, if you have a narrow foot. So yeah, that forefoot fit, I felt like at times, you know, maybe if I'm like two hours in and I'm steaming up the shoe a lot and they're softening up a little bit, you know, it, here and there, it would feel like, oh, you know, it's a little bit too loose up in the forefoot for me. That's really the only complaint that I had. And as we move into support, I wasn't sliding off the footbed. My foot wasn't rolling over. So I feel like the containment and support, it's doing just enough. And so for those support features, uh, you're starting off with a much wider base than you had in last year's Fresh Foam BB. And so what that does for you is it allows you to still sit kind of high off the floor uh, but the shoe's not gonna feel tippy. And then as you can see here, you have a midfoot shank. It's TPU, it's relatively hefty. And you know, the midsole as a whole is relatively hefty. It's flexing, but it's not, it's a beefcake of a midsole. And so like I said, the heel counter is a little bit shrimpy, but you're still getting enough lockdown here in the heel from the midsole, which shoots up and helps kind of cup your foot. A good speed lacing setup. I love me a good speed lacing setup to help you really get that fit right. I, I wouldn't have any concerns with the support um, just as long as you're getting a good fit. And I think for the majority of foot shapes, I think you're gonna get a good fit here. So yeah, I like these quite a bit more than I liked last year's model. And I liked last year's model. They stepped up the materials. They fixed the fit issues. They made the cushion feel way better. This is just an all around improvement. I mean, you know, it's relatively high off the ground. The cushion is pretty soft you're not gonna mistake this thing for a Kobe or a Sabrina or a Curry model. And while I prefer those kinds of shoes, I still really enjoyed this one. Now, if you're a bigger player, if you love impact protection, if you love soft foam cushions, then this shoe is gonna be for you. I mean, if you just want something that's like as comfortable as possible, this is gonna be near the top of your list. Hey. Hey, go ahead and like this video and leave a comment on this video. Uh, it can be about the shoe. It doesn't have to be about the shoe. Uh, have you played in them? Do you like them? Have you played in other New Balance shoes? Do you want to know how this compares to other New Balance shoes? Or, you know, how does it compare to any other shoe? Just, you know, drop a comment. We can all have a nice little conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.